In this video, I will show you how to modify your Windows keyboard layout in order to obtain curly apostrophes instead of straight ones. When you are in Windows and start typing French, your straight apostrophes will automatically be converted into curly ones, like here. And this is the result of uh, having file options, proofing, autocorrect options, and replace as you type straight quotes with smart quotes. So this setting not only affects quotes, but also apostrophes. Now, if you type the same text in a CAT tool like MemoQ, your straight uh, apostrophe will remain straight and will not be converted into a curly one. Even though under translation settings and autocorrect, there is a similar setting as in Word, replace straight quotes with smart quotes, but unfortunately it does not affect the apostrophes. So we will use a program called Microsoft Keyboard Layout Creator, which you can download from Microsoft site. Under system requirements, Windows Vista is listed as the newest supported version of Windows, but in fact, this program works just fine in Windows 7 and even in Windows 10. So I'll start the Microsoft Keyboard Layout Creator. And instead of starting from scratch, I will load the layout that I'm using normally, which is the Finish Layout. So I'll select File, Load Existing Keyboard, and I'll go to Finish. Here is Finish. OK. Now I have my Finish Keyboard, and uh, the straight apostrophe is here. And what I will do, I will go back to Word. I will copy with Control c my curly apostrophe, and I will paste it here. OK. And just in case I need the straight apostrophe, what I will do, I will click on Control, and uh, here I can see this key is uh, empty, and I will enter my straight apostrophe here. So if I want to have a curly apostrophe, I will hit this key, and if I want the straight apostrophe, I will hit Control and this key, and I will get the straight apostrophe. So now I'll save this layout, save source file as, I will call it finish with curly apostrophe. And OK. Now we'll call it finish curly and save. The next step will be under project to build the DLL and setup package. And now it's done. I will open the directory. And here I have a setup program that I can start. Now it has been installed. I'll close the program and I'll go to Control Panel. And if I go to Programs and the Programs and Features, I will find my Finish with Curly Apostrophe program that was uh, added to the list of programs. Now I can go to Control Panel and Change Keyboard and Other Input Methods, Change Keyboards. Here, my finish with curly apostrophe layout was added under Finnish Finland, but I don't use Finnish as an input language, so I'll remove this. And instead, I will go here and I will add my layout. So I'll click on Show More. Here I have a finish with a curly apostrophe. I'll click Tick it. I'll move it up. And I'll remove the standard finish layout. OK. And OK. Now if I go back to MemoQ, and I enter my text again, I will get a curly apostrophe. So there you have it, how to use Microsoft Keyboard Layout Creator in order to modify your existing keyboard layout and have the curly apostrophe instead of the straight one. Obviously, you can use the same technique to modify any other key you want on your existing keyboard. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.